हेलो माय डियर फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एस क्लास एजुकेशन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सी पी वाई क्यूज ऑफ इको सिस्टम चैप्टर फॉर नीट सो फर्स्ट विच इको सिस्टम हैज़ द मैक्सिमम बायोमास फर्स्ट इज ग्रासलैंड इको सिस्टम सेकेंड इज पॉन्ड इको सिस्टम थर्ड इज लेक इको सिस्टम एंड डी इज फॉरेस्ट इको सिस्टम सो द मैक्सिमम बायोमास विल बी इन फॉरेस्ट इको सिस्टम सो ऑप्शन डी इज द राइट आंसर नेक्स्ट द प्राइमरी प्रोड्यूसर्स ऑफ द डीप सी हाइड्रोथर्मल वेंट इको सिस्टम आर ग्रीन अलगा कीमोसिंथेटिक बैक्टीरिया ब्लू ग्रीन अलगा या कोरल रिफ्स सो द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी कीमोसिंथेटिक बैक्टीरिया आफ्टर दैट नेक्स्ट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग वुड एपियर एज द पायोनियर ऑर्गेनिजम ऑन बेर रॉक्स मॉसेस ग्रीन अलगा लाइकेंस एंड लिवर वर्ड्स so the correct answer will be lichens next which one of the following is a characteristic feature of cropland ecosystem absence of weeds ecological succession absence of oil sorry soil organism and the least genetic diversity so correct answer will be least genetic diversity d next the term ecosystem was coined by heckel warming e p odium and a j tansley so the correct answer is e j a j tansley next most animals that live in deep oceanic waters are tertiary consumers detritivores primary consumers or secondary consumers so deep oceanic waters are detritivores next during ecological succession the number and types of animals remain constant uh, the changes lead to a con- co- community that is in near equilibrium with the environment and is called as pioneer community the gradual and predictable changes in species composition occurs in a given area or the establishment of a new biotic community is very fast in its primary phase so first is wrong because the number and the types of organisms do not remain constant second the changes lead to a continuity that is near equilibrium no wrong third is the gradual and predictable changes in the species composition occurs in the given area so succession means uh, option c so c is the correct answer after that eighth in which of the following both pairs have correct combination gaseous nutrient cycle sedimentary nutrient cycle so gaseous nutrition cycle nutrient cycle nitrogen and sulfur sedimentary nutrient cycle carbon and phosphorus so no gaseous nutrient cycle is carbon uh, and phosphate and sedimentary nutrient cycle is nitrogen and uh, sulfur so this is wrong next is gaseous nutrient cycle sedi- uh, ga- gaseous nutrient cycle sulfur and phosphorus sedimentary nutrient cycle carbon and nitrogen no it's all wrong a uh, gaseous nutrient cycle carbon and nitrogen sedimentary nutrient cycle sulfur and phosphorus this one is correct and the next is gaseous nutrient cycle carbon and sulfur sedimentary nutrient cycle nitrogen and phosphorus is wrong okay so after that next so correct option is option c next is the mass of living material at a tropic level a particular time is called as the mass of living material at a tropic level at a particular time is called net primary productivity standing crop uh, gross primary productivity or standing state so the correct answer is standing crop b vertical distribution of different species occupying different levels in a biotic community is known as stratification if it's vertical it is called as stratification if it is horizontal then it will be called as zonation zonation option a so now the correct answer is option d so guys if you want to practice more such mcqs then here is a book of oswal publication so in this book you can see that here are some short notes or mind maps and also mcqs which you can refer which are purely ncert based so if, if you want to practice you can check out the links given in the description box so that you will be able to buy this book and if you want uh, to know that what is the content uh, in this book so you can also check out some sample pages pages of this book so that you will get the idea secondary succession takes place on or in secondary succession takes place on or in newly created pond newly cooled lava 
नेक्स्ट इज बेर रॉक और डी इज डिजनरेटेड फॉरेस्ट सो द करेक्ट आंसर विल बी डी जनरेटेड फॉरेस्ट बिकॉज इट सेकेंडरी सक्सेशन नेक्स्ट इज मोस्ट एनिमल्स आर ट्री डवेलर्स इन अ डैश ए इज टेम्परेट डिशिडियस फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिक ट्रॉपिकल रेन फॉरेस्ट कोनीफेरस फॉरेस्ट और थॉन ओन लैंड मेन मोस्ट एनिमल्स आर ट्री डवेलर्स so there should be a lot of a uh, lot more a lot more trees so the correct answer will be tropical rainforest okay so 13 in an ecosystem the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis is termed as in an ecosystem the rate of production of organic matter during photosynthesis is termed as primary productivity but which primary net productivity net primary productivity or gross primary productivity so the correct answer will be gross primary productivity if we subtract respiratory loss from gross primary productivity you will get net primary productivity and the secondary productivity means the biomass which is produced by the consumers it will be called as secondary productivity okay next match the following and select the correct option earthworm earthworm is called as a uh, pioneer species detritivore natality or pollination so the earthworm is connected with we can say it is connected with um, so detritivore succession succession is connected with pioneer species uh, ecosystem service is connected with pollination and population growth is connected with natality so it's the birth rate so correct answer will be a2 a2 there is only one option so d is the right answer next day 15th 15th is what given below is a simplified model of phosphorus cycle cycling in a terrestrial ecosystem with four blanks and identify the correct so consumers after that we have to find out what will be the a so definitely c will be the producers okay so here producers at the c is only one is in only one option so that is option number c why here should be the producers because the consumers are only going to eat the producers okay so consumers are eating only the producers so therefore c will be the producer and the producer is only in the option number c at c so therefore the answer will be third okay even you can also uh do this like uh, a will be detritus because after consumers consumers will die then it will become detritus then uh, the soil solution aha uh -huh, the phosphate uh, will be in the soil solution after weathering of the rocks so b will be like rocks so here rock minerals yes and after that uh, d d will be after after there will be the fall of leaves from the producers then these leaves will again decomposed so d will be litter fall or leaves fall whatever so the option is c if 20 joule of energy is trapped at producer level then how much energy will be available to peacock as food in the following chain if 20 joule of energy is trapped at a producer level then how much energy will be available to peacock as food in the chain okay so peacock is at the last so plants will be the producers so 20 joule energy uh, is uh, uh, produced by the plants after that 10% reduced then we'll go to the mice after that 10% reduced then we'll go to the snake and after 10% reduction it will go towards the uh, peacock so 20 joule from 20 joule 2 joule will be 2 uh, joule will be consumed by mice 0.2 snake and 0.02 for the peacock so the correct answer will be 0.02 a okay we just have to reduce uh, the energy level by 10% okay next natural reservoir of phosphorus is so phosphorus shows sedimentary cycling so the natural reservoir will be rock option a secondary productivity is rate of formation of new organic matter by secondary productivity is rate of formation of new organic matter by consumers so i have already told this next is uh, 19th which of the following process during decomposition is correctly described catabolism last step in decomposition under fully anaerobic condition no um, wrong next is leaching water soluble inorganic nutrients rise to the top layers of soil no top layers mm, it is not in the top layers 
Next, fragmentation carried out by organisms such as earthworm and humidification leads to accumulation of dark colored substance that is humus which undergo microbial action at very fast rate. So, it's not very fast rate, it is at very slow rate. So, this is wrong, this is wrong, this is wrong. So, answer will be option C. So, correct answer is option C. Which two distinct microbial processes are responsible for release of fixed nitrogen as dinitrogen gas to the atmosphere? Okay. Aerobic nitrate oxidation and nitrate nitrite reduction. Mm -hmm. uh, decomposition of organic nitrogen and conversion of dinitrogen to ammonia compounds. So it's not decomposition of organic nitrogen. Uh, enteric fermentation in cattle and nitrogen fixation by rhizobium in root nodules of legumes. And anaerobic ammonium oxidation and denitrification. So the option will be D, anaerobic ammonium oxidation and denitrification. Yes, option D. Okay. So uh, here in the first step, there will be anaerobic ammonium oxidation and in the second step, there will be denitrification. Uh, which of the following is a primary consumer in maize field ecosystem? Okay, primary consumer we have to find out. So uh, grasshopper, wolf, phytoplankton are producers lion is apex consumer so the answer will be grasshopper so option a next when man eats fish which feeds on zooplanktons which have eaten small plants then the producer in the chain is so small plants uh, will be the producer because the chain is like this Okay, so the chain is like small plants are being eaten by the zooplanktons and zooplanktons are eaten by the fish and the fish are eaten by the man. So first win will be uh, uh, small plants, first consumer will be zooplankton, second consumer is fish and third consumer will be, a uh, tertiary consumer will be man. So producers will be small plants. Next 23rd. Which of the following is not a gaseous biogeochemical cycle in ecosystem? Sulfur cycle, phosphorus cycle, nitrogen cycle, carbon cycle. Which is not a gaseous? So phosphorus is not a gaseous. Even sulfur is not gaseous. But again, the most right answer is phosphorus. Uh, next, identify the possible link A in the food chain, in the following food chain. Plant, insect, frog, then it is A and then eagle. So, rabbit, wolf, cobra or parrot. So, eagle eats cobra or snake. So, therefore, the answer will be C. Okay. And the frog is eaten by cobra. Yes. So, correct answer will be C. Next is 25th. Given below is an imaginary pyramid of numbers. What could be one on the possibilities? Of, sorry. What could be one of the possibilities about certain organisms at of the different levels? Okay. So, this is the pyramid of numbers. PP means primary producer, PC means primary consumer and SC means secondary consumer. So as per the first option, primary consumer is insects, primary consumer is insects, secondary consumer is small insectivorous birds. Okay. So obviously insects will be more in number than the birds. Maybe first option is correct. Again, we will see the second option also. So level PP that is primary producer is phytoplankton in C and um, well on the top level that is TC. Top level means they, they, they might be saying that there should be 10 well with respect to one phytoplankton. No, no, no. So this is wrong. Uh, le uh, level 1 PP is people trees and the level secondary consumers is a sheep. No. Next is level PC is rats. Primary consumer is rats. And level SC is cats. Secondary consumers is cats. Uh, so among all these the correct answer this is regarding to biomass so the correct answer will be a okay so a is the right answer okay so option a will be the right answer this is the possibility and also you can uh, check in ncrt it is given there also so option a will be the right answer it is a bit confusing it will <laughs> it is time consuming question next is which one of the following is not a functional unit of ecosystem 
okay so which one is the not functional unit of ecosystem it will be stratification because energy for flow productivity decomposition and nutrient cycle are the functional units of ecosystem stratification is not so answer will be option d stratification the upright pyramid of number is absent in upright pyramid of number just we seen one but let's see the options pond forest lake and grasslands so here the option will be forest okay so the same for the ex for example you can see this same diagram it is regarding to forest only the rate of formation sorry <laughs> the rate the rate of formation of new organic matter by rabbit in a grassland is called as the rate of formation by rabbit so it is the consumer and if the consumer is uh, uh, is forming new organic matter then it will be secondary productivity so option b will be the right answer the second stage of hydrosphere is occupied by plants like azola typha um salix and valisneria so from all these options only valisneria is the plant which grows in the water so therefore option will be d uh, so the answer will be option d uh, next identify the likely animals first second third and fourth in the food web shown below so you have to identify what will the animals at the position first second third and fourth okay so let's see so in this question let us check so the animals which are depend on uh, vegetation or seeds are three animals that is position 1 second and fourth so if we check the options then uh, dog cannot be depend on the vegetation or seeds so let us eliminate option b so here may be deer rat or squirrel can be on position first so again uh, the position first animal is eaten by the lion so squirrel cannot be eaten by the lion and also cannot be the rat so maybe deer will be the appropriate option for option uh, so for for position 1 next um, let us check up what about rabbit if we take rabbit at option 2 then yes rabbit can be eaten by fox then option 3 grasshopper is eaten by yes grasshopper is eaten by frog frog is eaten by snakes and snakes is eaten by hawks so option uh, so place third will be occupied by frog next at position 4 rat again rat can be eaten by snakes so therefore option 1 will be the right answer okay option a will be the right answer okay deer rabbit frog and rat again little bit time consuming question next mass of living matter at a tropic level in an area at any time is called as standing crop i think this question is repeated answer will be standing crop of the total incident solar radiation the proportion of par that is photosynthetically active radiation is it the option should be less than 50% so it is less than 50% which of the following statement is correct for secondary succession it begins on a rock uh, a bare rock it occurs on a deforested site it follows primary succession it is similar to primary succession except that it has a relatively fast pace so we have to find out the option which is correct regarding to the secondary succession so it begins on a bare rock no primary begins on the bare rock it occurs on a deforested site deforested means earlierly there should be the presence of forest so the b is the right answer it follows primary succession no it's not written in the ncert like that so the option will be b that is a deforestation site deforested site uh, which one of the following statement for the primary sorry pyramid pyramid of uh, energy is incorrect okay pyramid of energy is incorrect okay its base is broad it shows uh, so here we all know that the pyramid of energy is always upright so its base is broad is the right answer because the base so base is broad it shows energy content of different tropic level organisms yes it shows it is inverted in sh shape or it is upright in shape so it is upright in shape it's not inverted so option c will be the incorrect which of the follow which one of the following animals may occupy more than one tropic level in the same ecosystem at the same time okay options what are the options 37 na question a uh, sparrow lion goat or frog let us read again which one of the following animals may occupy more than one tropic levels in the ecosystem in the same ecosystem at the same time and the options are sparrow lion after that it's goat and frog so sparrow can occupy more than one ecosystems so therefore sparrow because sparrows can eat insect even it can eat uh, 
seeds and also uh, other small like very very small organisms uh, which are which, which may be belong to category of insects so option a will be the right answer okay next both hydrarch and zerarch succession leads to medium water condition xeric condition highly dry condition excessive wet condition so the answer will be medium water condition next the breakdown of detritus into smaller uh, particles by earthworm is the process called as fragmentation so it breaking down into a simple particles it will be fragmentation the biomass available for consumption by the herbivores and the decomposers is called the biomass which is available for consumption by the herbivores and decomposers will be called as net primary productivity secondary productivity it is the produ it is produced by consumers so it will be not the answer a uh, standing crops also not answer any um, gross primary productivity no so this is the actual biomass produced by the producers so after that we have to subtract the respiratory loss and then we get primary net primary productivity which is which which will be consumed by the uh, herbivores so the answer will be option a net primary productivity which of the following representation shows the prime the pyramid of numbers in a forest ecosystem so again in the forest ecosystem we have already seen one example so let us see the options a no it is inverted b is upright c c will be the answer because here in the forest the pyramid is like this why because the number of trees is uh, is less then the number of insects is more number of sparrows or the uh, what we can say secondary consumers is also less so therefore option d will be the right answer c is the correct pyramid next the correct sequence of plants in a hydrosphere is okay so in the hydrosphere we have to find out uh volvox hydrilla pistilla scripus lantana and woke so woke is the you can say it's the tree okay it, it will be the tree yes so answer a will uh, a will be the right answer because volvox will be the initial state woke cannot be initial state because we can say it is a big tree it is a huge big tree so woke cannot be at the first position uh volvox is the alga so volvox will be at the first position later on it will be hydrilla then it will be pistilla and then the correct answer will be option a which one of the following types of organism occupy more than one tropic level in a pond ecosystem okay so it is regarding to pond ecosystem fish uh, zooplankton frog or phytoplankton so phytoplankton phytoplankton is only the producer so it can't uh next ahe b that is zooplankton it is the primary consumer or we can say it is the herbivore so it is also not possible so option will be or option a will be the right answer that is fish a uh, frog we can consider frog uh, here in the pond so a will be the right answer consider the following statements considering food chain okay a removal of 80% tigers from an area resulted in greatly increased growth of vegetation okay we have to identify the correct statements so a is not the correct statement because the tigers are not directly depend on the vegetation so removal of most of the carnivore resulted in an increased population of deer yes if we remove the carnivore then the uh, as as the carnivores are dependent are depend directly on the deer so if we reduce the number of carnivores then obviously the number of deers will increase next is the length of food chain is generally limited to 3 to 4 tropic level due to energy loss yes um uh, ha food chain is limited next is food web is not limited next is the length of food chain may vary from 2 to a tropic levels no the length of food web may vary from 2 to a tropic levels so b and c are the correct uh, statements so the answer will be option c okay so option c is the right answer the slow rate of decomposition of fallen logs in uh nature is due to their anaerobic environment around them low cellulose content low moisture content and poor nitrogen content the slow rate so if the decomposition is the is, is at slow rate because because maybe the nitrogen is uh, quantity of nitrogen is less so therefore option is d okay option will be d because moisture is not we cannot relate with slow rate of decomposition next about 70% of total global carbon is found in ocean forest grassland or agro ecosystem so the answer will be a oceans uh which of the following 
ecosystem which of the following ecosystem types has the highest annual net primary productivity so the net primary productivity is gross primary productivity minus respiratory losses so let us read the option first one is tropical deciduous forest second one is temperate evergreen forest third one is temperate deciduous forest and d is tropical rain forest so highest annual net primary productivity so therefore the gross primary productivity should also be more so answer will be option d tropical rain forest next which one of the following is not used for construction of ecological pyramid okay a uh, fresh weight dry weight number of individuals or rate of flow uh, rate of energy flow so we do not consider fresh weight for the pyramids we consider dry weight in the in, in uh, for the biomass so therefore option a will be the answer uh, fresh weight which of the following is expected to have highest value a gram per meter square per year in a grassland ecosystem we want highest value the term having highest value secondary production second one is tertiary production third one is gross production and fourth one is net production so then uh, when we subtract respiratory losses from gross production we get net production so obviously net production will be lower than the gross production okay so the answer will be c and uh, producers are more in number than secondary uh, than consumers or other consumers so therefore option c will be the right answer as the gross production is produce is the production by producers so answer c next is an ecosystem which can be easily damaged but can recover after some time if damaging uh, effect stops will be having okay so they want to say that the ecosystem which can be easily damaged but also can recover after some time if da if damaging effect is stopped first is low stability and high uh, resilience high stability no high stability no so it should be between low stability a or c so the answer will be option a there should be low stability and high resilience next is 49th question so 49th question says that bamboo plant is growing in a fir forest then what will be the tropic level of it bamboo plant first tropic level second tropic level third tropic level fourth tropic level as bamboo plant is plant only so it will be uh, in the first tropic level so question 50 50 50th question is plant decomposers are option a monera and fungi fungi and plants protista and animalia animalia and monera so there are no decomposers from kingdom animalia so option c and option d maybe that can be eliminated let us see option a and b so here monera and fungi fungi and plants again plants cannot be plant decomposers so option b is eliminated correct answer will be option a which is the reason for highest biomass in aquatic ecosystem nano uh, lano plant cons blue green algae and green algae sea grass and slime molds benthic benthic means those plants which are near bottom of the sea and brown algae and d is dry atoms so here the option will be c only benthic and brown algae okay next energy transfer from one tropic level to another in a food chain is it's about 10% so answer will be a next in a terrestrial ecosystem such as forest maximum energy in which is in which of the tropic level so the maximum energy will be in the first tropic level so t1 c is the right answer the en uh, the rate at which light energy is converted into chemical energy of organic molecules is the ecosystems the rate at which light energy is converted into chemical energy of organic molecules okay so they want to say that photosynthetic photosynthesis okay photosynthesis process is going on here so the answer will be option b gross primary productivity okay which of the following ecosystem has the highest gross primary productivity so they want to ask that ki okay so where the number of trees will be more mangroves rainforest grassland or coral reef so here the right answer will be rainforest so in rainforest the number of trees uh, is more so therefore th there will be the highest amount of gross gross primary productivity which of the following acts as natural scavengers 56 okay man insect microorganisms or animals so the correct answer will be microorganisms acts like scavengers
the 10 percent energy transfer law of food chain was given by so this is the theoretical question and option is a lindman after that question number 58 if we completely remove the decomposers from an ecosystem its functioning will be adversely affected because mineral movement will be blocked the rate of decomposition will be very high energy flow will be blocked and herbivores will not receive solar energy so there is no relation between the herbivora solar energy and decomposers so option D is in our answer uh, energy flow is not uh, will not be blocked next the rate of decomposers decomposition will be low not high because the decomposers are absent so the rate of decomposition should be low so correct answer will be option a mineral movement will be blocked because mineral mineralization is done by decomposers next in a biotic community the primary consumers are so the primary consumers are herbivores so therefore answer will be option b which of the following pairs is a sedimentary type of biogeochemical reaction phosphorus nitrogen phosphorus sulfur oxygen nitrogen phosphorus and carbon dioxide answer will be b here the phosphorus and sulfur uh, will show sedimentary type of biogeochemical cycle and uh, nitrogen and carbon dioxide will show gaseous biogeochemical cycle which of the following is most stable ecosystem mountain ocean forest and desert so ocean will be the most stable ecosystem there will be less changes in the um, ocean ecosystem so the primary succession referred to the development of communi co communities on a forest clearing after devastating forest de devastating fire okay after forest fire they want to say a newly exposed habitat with no record of earlier vegetation freshly cleared crop field pond freshly filled with water after a dry phase so the primary succession will be in the option b because there is there is no record of vegetation okay so therefore the primary succession will be in the option b the the dominant second tropic level in a lake ecosystem is the dominant second tropic level in the lake ecosystem is it will be zooplanktons prime uh, first tropic level will be occupied by phytoplanktons and second is zooplanktons pyramid of numbers deals with the numbers of species in an area individuals in a community individuals in a tropic level or subspecies in the community so the number a pyramid of numbers has no relation with a species and the number of species whatever so it is regarding to individuals in a tropic level so option c will be the right answer pyramid of numbers in a pond ecosystem is pond ecosystem um, regular inverted upright and spindle shaped so pyramid of numbers will be upright so option c will be the right answer food chain in which okay food chain in which microorganisms break down the food formed by primary producers is okay um, parasitic food chain detritus food chain consumer food chain or predator food chain so here the option will be dfc detritus food chain pick up the correct food chain grass chameleon insect bird grass fox rabbit bird nine uh, phytoplankton zooplankton fish and fallen leaves bacteria insect larva so correct answer will be phytoplankton zooplankton phytoplankton are the primary producers uh, zooplankton primary consumer and fish will be the secondary consumer option c is the right answer pyramid of numbers in a grassland or tree ecosystem is always inverted always upright both a and c and spindle shaped so here uh, the pyramid of numbers in the grassland or trees is always upright so b will be the right answer next upper part of sea or aquatic ecosystem contains upper part okay uh, planktons nectons planktons and nectons and benthos so benthos are at the bottom so therefore the correct answer will be planktons option a what is true about the ecosystem primary consumers are least dependent upon producers no it's not right mm, primary consumers outnumber producers outnumber producers okay uh, producers are more than primary consumers and secondary consumers are the largest and most powerful so here the option will be c producers are more than the primary consumers because the pyramid is upright and here producers are at the bottom level which are more in number than the primary consumers so option c will be the right answer in an ecosystem which 
which one shows one way passage uh, free energy carbon nitrogen potassium this three shows a cycle so there is no one uh, one way passage so option a will be the right answer energy always uh, shows one way passage or unidirectional flow so in this way we have completed all the 71 mcqs which are called as pyqs of neat so thank you so much for watching this video see you in the next video bye bye